Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from Singapore Mathematical Olympiad or SMO from 2007. This is from the junior section. Here in this problem, we have a big number. It has 2007 digits, all of them are going to be 1. This big number is multiplied by 2007 and we are looking for to find some of the digits that we have in the final answer. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. We previously saw a few other examples of this type of problems. For those, you can find them at the end of this video. I'm going to see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this kind of problem, we always start with finding a pattern. Instead of having 2007 ones in the original problem, we are going to start with just one. One times 2007 is going to be 2007. Instead of having one, if we have 11 or two ones in the first number, we are going to have 11 times 2007. Instead of having 11, we write it as 10 plus 1, and then we multiply 10 plus 1 by 2007. It's going to be addition of two numbers. The first one is 10 times 2007. We are going to append 1, 0 on the right side of this 2007. And then we will have 2007 to add to this number. It's going to be 22077. Now let's move on. Let's start with 111 times 2007. Here we have three ones in the original problem. If we do this, we can write 111 as 100 plus 11. We already multiplied 11 by 2007 in the previous case. We are going to add that to 100 times 2007. For 100 times 2007, we just append two zeros on the right hand side. If we want to add them together, we are going to end up with 222777. Up to this point, you might think that we are going to have a lot of twos and then a lot of sevens, but it's more than that. We need to continue to find a real pattern here. To continue, let's do that with 1000 and 111. We are going to write it as 1000 plus 111. We already found 111 times 2007. For 1000 times 2007, we are going to append three zeros on the right hand side. If you add them together, you are going to see something new. Basically, we will have 222 two, two on the left hand side, 777 seven, seven on the right hand side. But at the intersection of 7 and 2, we are going to see 9. If we do this for one more item here, you are going to see that basically we are going to have 2, 2, 2, 9, 9, and then 7, 7, 7. That's interesting. The number of 7s and the number of 2s are going to be fixed at this point. We are going to add 9 to the digit. With that, now we can say that the pattern that we are going to see is we are going to have three twos on the left hand side. 
three sevens on the right hand side and a bunch of nines in the middle. But how many nines we are going to have? If you go back to the previous case, you see that for five ones, we are going to end up with two nines. As a result, if you continue this pattern, we are going to have 2007 minus three or 2004 nines in the middle. Now, the only thing that we need to do is to add them together. We have 2004 nines, we have three twos and we have three sevens. If you add them together, we're going to end up with the value that we see for the sum of the digits. And that concludes our answer. If you are interested in more videos like this, you can find them in the description of this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.